Okay, well, I think I think the first thing to do is to sort of maybe define some terms. I mean, yeah. I'm I'm using the term liquidity rather than money. I mean, the reason for doing that is that money uh, is sort of the kind of domain of, of economists. An economist define money in a particularly, uh, let's say, awkward or old fashioned way, uh, which is not really relevant to the modern world. But they look at things which are numbers sound a bit like motorways, M1, M2, uh, etc. Uh, the problem with that, defi that definition is that it basically restricts one's purview to looking at uh, retail money in high street banks. Now, if you think that that's where the financial system begins and ends, well, you know, I'll come quietly. But the reality is that actually there's a whole proliferation of other financial entities, other institutions that can create credit, uh, both within the domestic economy and internationally. And we need to take account of those. And our definition of liquidity is really a credit measure that if you're familiar with um, balance sheets, it's a measure that looks at the left hand side, the asset side of the balance sheet. Uh, it basically is uh, a way of understanding uh, sources of money, sources of liquidity in uh, financial markets. We put a particular financial focus on what we're doing because, as it happens, we're interested in financial markets. So think of it as the amount of liquidity or money that is flowing through, able to be spent, that is flowing through uh, global financial markets.